Welcome to this screencast, binary conversion using pen and paper for GCSE exam. This time we are going to do the denary to binary conversion. And we are going to need again this 8-bit um, table that we drew the last first time. So starting from the right, the smallest value is 1 to go from one column to the one on the left, you times it by 2. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 4, 2 times 4 8, 2 times 8 16, 32, 64, 128. So you've got that on a corner somewhere on a piece of scrap paper, somewhere that it doesn't matter. And let's take a number, a denary number. So a number like we are used to in base 10. Let's say 200. Now, what is this as a binary number? What I'm going to do, I'm going to check if in 200 can I fit 128. 200 equals 128 plus 72. Because I've got this 128 value here to make up 200, I'm going to set this column, the column for the 128, I set it to 1. And I repeat the process with my remainder. So 72, can we fit 64 inside 72? Yes, 72 is 64 plus 8. So for my 64, I put a 1 in this binary column. The remainder, 8, can I fit 32 in 8? No, so I set this to 0. Can I fit 16 in 8? No, so I set this one to 0. Can I fit 8 in 8? Yes. So there's my 8, so 8 remainder 0. So I've got nothing left, I can set all those remaining bits to 0. So 200 as a denary number is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 in binary. And I look forward to seeing how you apply this to your work.